Hey guys, Will here. Now you can probably see on my left hand side here that there is a hole in the front of my car and the reason for that is that I am installing these USDM spec front grills on my car. So normally in European and Australian countries they come with these grills which have this blade on them here. Normally this blade is a sort of grey silver colour. Um, I would previously had these painted black on my car but I just think that the US ones are a much cleaner kind of look so it's a personal preference thing there's no performance advantage either way to these but um, you know if you like to dress up your car you like to keep it looking nice and clean then these might be something that you're interested in so in this video I'm going to be showing you how we install them okay so the tools that we're going to need for this are a bunch of plastic pry tools now you want to have pry tools that are a softer plastic obviously than the um, than the paint and the um, areas of the front bumper. Now we're lucky in this regard because the um, the plastic that this grill is actually made out of is really, really nice and soft. So you don't have to be too worried about scratching the paint. It does require quite a bit of force to pop these out, but it's not overly dangerous to do so. You've got to be a little bit brave. I definitely recommend having a beer or two before you do this. I also, what I did was wedged in this little card here as well just to give me something to leverage against but I'll show you how to do that in a second so as far as the clips that we're actually having to pop are concerned there's three along the top one on the front side just here two along the bottom edge and then one on this side now if you look at the clips you can see that there's a pretty hard edge on the front of the ones on the top and the side here the ones on along the bottom and on the side have a bit of a taper so when you wedge something in between it kind of pushes that tab flat and you can see here there how soft that plastic is so what I found was the best method and I did stuff around with the other side for ages trying to figure this out um, before I recorded the video just so I wouldn't look like an absolute idiot on film trying to suss it out but what I figured out is if you slide something in these bottom ones they pop out a little bit easier than the top ones do and then you can kind of get your hand in behind there and slowly work it out so I'll just film as I'm doing it and you can see what I mean sort of get your first one in there now the clips tend to sort of try to bend backwards so we just kind of shove it in there then we'll get the next one down here try to pop those out as well move our way along now again we're using a nice soft plastic here that's way softer than the paint so if any marking is going to occur it's going to occur along the edge there so we'll shove that in there as well bring that clip out like that and now's the point where you kind of just need to get your fingers in behind it and just pull it out now this side is a little bit easier than the other side because on the other side the stock panel doesn't have any openings at all so you really need to get your hand in behind and pull it this one's a little bit easier because you can just kind of grab it like that so we want to pull out and then kind of release the clips as we go so you don't need to be too careful of the paint along the bottom edge here because the plastic is really, really, really nice and soft. It just kind of slides straight out. So if you are paranoid, you can put some masking tape along here, but I really don't think you need to worry about it too much. So we'll just get our hands in behind. out like so so having a quick look inside the air dam here you can see we've got the oil cooler on this side now if we move over to the other side you can see there's nothing there which is the reason why this plate is blank normally on this side of the car but down here you've got this little sensor here and I was kind of I'm in ahhing about what that was I called up my friend Brian from Keys Motorsport and you might have seen some of his videos on YouTube he's been a really good inspiration for me with a lot of the videos that I've done and sort of showing me how to do stuff so um, if you haven't seen his videos definitely check them out that's Keys Motorsport and I'll link it in the description below but he told me that that is the outside air temperature sensor so don't need to worry too much about that um, you can see there's quite a bit of water spatter in there already from the brake duct which sort of goes through here and into this area and the water that just generally sort of comes up underneath the car 
So I'm not sort of too worried about the extra water that might get in from the front there, but um, if you are worried about it, you can always wrap it up with a little bit of electrical tape as well. There's nothing else really up here to be concerned about. The horn's there. Again, you can see it's already pretty wet. And then there's a couple of connectors buried deep up the top there. But again, I'm not too worried about it, so I'm just gonna leave all of that as is. Over the other side again as well, we can see there's a connector down here, but that area is gonna be completely covered anyway by the new grill, so I'm not too worried about that. So anyway, we'll pop the new grills in and the job will be done. So what I am gonna do is just give the whole area a quick clean with some microfiber towel and some alcohol. If you watch my videos, you'll see that pretty much every single video I do features a microfiber towel and isopropyl alcohol at some point. So we'll keep the, we'll keep the tradition going, give it a good clean. There's not too much dirt and crap in there, but always good to give things a clean. It's a good opportunity to get up in there and check that you haven't caused any scratches either. In my case, I'm all good. There was already a few little stone chips in the paint anyway. Give it a bit of a blow as well to clean all the dust out. So, so what you need to do here, this is a little bit trickier than I thought it might be. You want to kind of bend the tabs and make sure that they're slotting in to these guides. So you've got to kind of line all these ones up as you go around. Because what's happening is they're sort of folding up and not meeting the, um, the keyways. So kind of get it lined up. It's a little bit tricky to see as you go. Like so. All done. So that's one side. We'll jump over to the other side. And again, just making sure that these tabs all go inside their correct slots. So as you can see, it's a much cleaner, tidier look for the front of the car. It's subtle, but it's the little things that make the difference. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you have, please make sure you do like the video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you don't miss the next one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.